Very happy. I'm glad you made it. Nice to meet you. So, how are you going to do this? Your back is going to be out right now. Thank you. to be doing part six of all the dares that you guys left me in the comments before we get into the video make sure to smash that like button subscribe and leave some more dares for part seven with that said let's start with part six the insurance scam dare Я упал. Миша, ты заснял? Давай, так. иди нахуй отсюда, Боба. У вас есть страховочка? Нету. Иди отсюда нахуй. Слушай. Давай, вали отсюда, я тебя полицию вызову, блядь. Мы можем по-хорошему. Мы не можем по-хорошему. Вот это, блядь, клоун пришел, блядь. Вы можете 500 долларов в наличку, либо... Иди стра... нахуй отсюда. Судиться мы сейчас будем. Давай, и... судись, иди, я... нахуй. иди нахуй отсюда, я сказал. Я упал. Упал. Потому что у вас мокрый бог. Либо плати 500 долларов. Приду. Вы видели придурка? Вот меня свидетели, вон на улице стоит свидетель. Да, он свидетель, что я, я упал. Отсюда. Ты идиот, блядь. Либо 500 долларов, либо мы судиться будем. Судитесь. Либо страховочку. Алло. Yeah, I have a problem. I have a big I have one customer. He tried to... He tried to... Yo, Paul. You know, kill me. Uh, he, he, he tried to make a circus over here. He, he, he looked like fall down, but he not fall down. I have a witnesses. And he asked me money for I have to pay him. <laughs> Привет, братан. He tried to rip me off. Maybe he, he tried to do something over here. I tell him get out from my store. He stay over here and ask me, ask me money. Ладно, я пошел, я пошел. О, о, я опять упал. Миша, ты заснял? Да. Че, теперь вы мне тысячу долларов. Тысячу должны теперь. Иди нахуй отсюда, сука. Открывай регистр. Тысячу долларов, давай. А то сейчас опять упаду. Падай ты, блядь, можешь. Головой бей, сиди об стенку, блядь. Иди ебанутый. На лбу хуй не вырос. У тебя уже ботеку я вырос. Me, Ладно, мы пошли тогда. Давай, иди пошли нахуй. Спасибо, кадр был охуенный. Давай. Давай. Ну, ходи, ходи, ходи. Почему? Покачину. Да у вас реакции такие охуенные. Реакции, ты мне цирк... что ты мне за цирк устраиваешь? Ты что, клоун что ли, блядь? Не, я ютубер. Ты иди лучше драчи, блядь. Он у тебя накачал себя из Ты иди качай лучше. Хуй свой драчи. Ну у вас реакции такие, это почему я прихожу. Там меня заебали уже все, заебали, идиоты, блядь. Откуда вы били? Взялись на мою голову, блядь. Из Москвы. Вот туда езжай, куда нахуй, чтобы мои глаза тебя больше не видели. А может вы с нами будете розыгрыши делать? Розыгрыши уже наделали. Вы очень остроумные шутки делаете. Я охуительный шутки. Да. Ладно, мы пошли. Спокойно. Не, не уходи, теперь ты будешь здесь. Давай. О, молодец. Фотку. Сняли? Да. Ладно, давай. Are you going into Dennis? Yes. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Okay, you're good to go. Okay. You have your ID? Uh, no, we're underage. You're underage? Yeah. Okay, you can't come in here today. Oh, for Denny's? For Denny's, yes. Oh, okay. Where is that? There's a new policy. It's only over 21. Over 21? Because have you seen the new Citizen app? There's a lot of stabbing, shootings. It's a bad environment, you know, for underage kids. I don't know. We're from out of, we're out of state. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. I'm sorry about that. I mean, you can go in, but yeah, they yeah. can't. We'll just find somewhere else. Okay, all right. Can I see your ID, please? ID? Yeah. You don't want my Vax card? No, this isn't a liberal Denny's, which is not the idea. Why do you want to see ID? Because over 21. Really? I'm 67. Okay. You're good to go. Can I see your ID? No, this one I think is fake. <laughs> you look underage. What? You look underage. I'm kidding. <laughs> you're good. You're good. What are you doing, sir? Are you going into Dennis? Yeah, yeah. You have your ID? ID? Why well, I need ID? Yeah. For what? To get inside. Man, they didn't ask me for no ID. You gotta get past me first. What? Why you ain't asking everybody else for the ID? What do you mean? I asked everybody else. And you got to show ID? I don't see no security, man. I'm the bouncer. They ain't got no bouncer in there. Let me see your ID. I ain't showing you shit. Show me the manager. Show yeah. me your ID, I'll show you the manager. Yeah, watch out, man. Hey. Are you working here? Yeah, yeah what? Is that work? Yeah, it looks through GNC India. You know? I'm going to start work. I'm not going to say a word about this concert. <laughs> Whoa! Behind you. Hey, no, no, no. I'm just starting to work today. Okay. <laughs> 
Don't slip. Okay. Oh my God, what's happening? Hey, hey, I'm glad you made it. Nice to meet you. Want me to help you take it? No. Are you sure? I'm sure. Come on, let me help you at least one. No. I can't. Come on. It's my first day. I'm strong too. If you have any more points, I'm going to help you, okay? Okay. Go do it dance? Oh, no, I don't dance. I'm here for work. So do a little 360. 360? Like this? <laughs> Wait, let me just take one. I'll help you. Hey, you have the gear key thing in the half Oh my god. Is this even legal? Is that any of these? Yes. I'll do this one. This one. Your back is gonna be out right now. Thank you. <laughs> What's so funny? You know me? Yes, sir. I know. <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> I know this. Yeah. I think there's a whole rush. Hey. I have a question for you. So I was wondering just for the future price range. I need three caskets, maybe even one if you can fit them all in there. Whereas this guy about 5'8", 150 pounds. Then this guy about 6'4", 400 pounds. He will have to be in an oversized casket. This one? Yeah. So they wouldn't all fit in the same one? No. And then this guy about 6'4", 200 pounds. He should be able to go in a normal casket. Yeah, and this one, maybe a small one. He's 6'2". No, this one is 5'8", oh, 150 yeah, pounds. Normal, normal casket. But this one oversized? Yeah, we need the, the width of his shoulders determines the size of his casket. Oh, so I have to measure his shoulders yeah. when I get his body? Yeah. Okay. So how much, what's the price? It depends on the casket you pick. Let me get you a funeral directing. Okay. The second one that you showed me, like I said, depends on the width of the shoulders. Yes. I'll make sure to measure him. It determines the size of the casket, which then determines the price. What's the cheapest? I don't like these people very much. We're like, What's the cheapest? We don't want to spend too much money. You would be cheaper to go with cremation. Then. To go with cremation? Yeah. What about maybe just a bag or something super cheap? You can't do that. Oh, okay. But so with the cheapest casket, what would you say is? Uh, we have, let me see, we may not have one left. It's a cloth covered. I think it's like a thousand dollars. That second guy will not go in there. It's the second guy. It's Always a fucking problem with that guy, <laughs> you know? It's the, uh, the size, and like I said, it's cardboard, and that will not hold him. But what if we maybe cut up the body of the second guy? Would that make it easier to fit it in a normal casket? You can't do any type of thing like that. No, but like between us, you know, like obviously. Yeah. So about I said the cremation would be a lot easier. It's twenty six fifty. If they're cremated, there's no casket. But it's a direct cremation with no service. Oh, we don't want the service either way for these people. Let me get Mr. Peel. He can give you the breakdown better. Okay. He's been here and a lot better. But come in and have a seat over here. Mm -hmm. well, this is Mr. Peel. He's the local company. Mr. Peel. Yes. Hi. Hey, Vladimir. Nice, no. We can start with the least expensive and go from there. Yes. Okay. These are the different options. If you kind of start at the bottom, that's the direct cremation where there's no service, no view. So this is where you just burn the body to get rid of it, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, we pick up and do the cremation and, uh, and then return the ashes to you. Oh, we don't want them. If you cremate, you don't want the ashes back? Yeah, these people, they've been causing us problems. That's why we're trying to just get rid of okay. them for good. Okay, well, you can just sign a thing to release us and we can dispose of them. Yes, just throw them in the trash. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so are you even thinking about a service where you can view them? No. I never want to see them again. Okay. When I get the bodies, that's going to be the last time I okay. see where, them. Okay, where are the bodies? Um, well, there's no bodies yet. Oh, okay. But um, one of them is living in Florida, one is in Canada, one is in oh. Houston. Oh. So that's why it's going to take me a little while to get them, you know? Yeah, get them here. Yeah. Well, are you planning to get them all here while they're still alive? Is that what you're talking about? No, I want to get them to Scottsdale, Arizona, uh -huh. while they're still alive to Mr. Wellington's basement. Okay. And then from there, when they're deceased already, we'll bring them here. Okay. So, you know, just as a word of advice to you, mm -hmm. if they're all out there and they all pass away there, yes. it would be a lot less expensive to have them done out there. The only problem is, you know, the police in Scottsdale, they're already kind of looking into my boss, Mr. Wellington. Mm -hmm. That's why he was thinking maybe it's smarter to bring the bodies here. Well, the bodies would have to be embalmed if they're shipped by oh, air. Oh, I will just drive them in my car. You drive them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, if they come here and die here, then we can get all these permits. 
permits. Oh. If they die so, somewhere else, we would have to get permits from them and then you can bring them here. So you think it's better for them to die here? Yes. Okay. It would be a lot less expensive for them. Yeah, I'm not trying to spend too much money. I understand. If you brought it right, here and we did this direct cremation, uh, it, it would be three of them, but I own the funeral home. I don't anymore. I sold the funeral home two yeah. and a half years ago. But I can ask the gentleman that I sold to if he would discount that sum for you. Yes. Okay, so here's my question too. Like I was telling the other guys, there's three guys. Mm -hmm. But you see this one, he's very, very fat. Yeah. Uh -huh. So maybe we could get the discount because I bring his body. It's more business for you, you know? We really, that it, it's the size of the casket, but we have cremation caskets that he would fit in. And, uh, you know, this would include the container that we cremate into. Yes. You don't have to buy a casket. We have a cremation tray container okay. that we can put them in. So it's the same for yes. everybody? Yes, sir. I thought maybe discount per pound or something. No, no, as a matter of fact, it takes us longer to cremate something someone like this and it does a normal person. Okay, last question. You think I should bring them all at the same time? Or if you had to pick one of these three, like who should I get first? Well, the larger man, you know, we have what we call an air tray or cremation tray that we can use. And it's not exactly a casket, but it's what we use for cremation for a larger person. So you think I should get rid of this guy first? Yeah. Okay, I mean, honestly, I like him the most of the three, but <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Yeah. But uh, thank you, I got it. I'll take this home, then uh, I'll show Mr. Wellington. Okay, what's your name? Billy? Billy? Yeah. yeah, Vladimir. We'll be in touch. Good doing business with you. Новый повар. Привет все, я новый повар. Hey, я буду готовить hey, hey, селедочку hey, hey, просто. Hey, hey. Это селедочка. Huh? Очень хорошая, я новый повар тут. Почему? Посмотри, что ты сделал селедочкой. Я просто новый повар. Я? Yeah? Ну да, все нормально. Так, короче, тут как тут. Hey, uh... sir, 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 why you gonna talk to me, я повар. Hey, Oh, yeah, just a power. It's a dare. A dare is a dare. You want to give me the seledochka? You can have it. You're going to leave. No, да, мы едем. I mean, have a good one. Yeah. Посмотри, как я приготовил, отлично. Заебись.